In this video, how to deploy TeamViewer host using Microsoft Intune. The first and recommended method is to deploy it using the Win32 app type. First, download the MSI installer of the app from the Windows Package Manager. The Windows Package Manager is a free and powerful package management solution that comes pre-installed on Windows 11 and newer versions of Windows 10. To download the installer, open PowerShell or Terminal as an administrator and run the following command. As shown in the output, the direct download link can be obtained from the official website and the downloaded file is saved in the downloads folder. The next step is creating some folders for Intune package creation. For example, I will create them in the D drive. Before you can add the app to Microsoft Intune, you must prepare the app by using the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool. The tool converts application installation files into the .intunewin format. Download the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool from the official Microsoft GitHub repository. Extract the downloaded zip file. We just need the prep tool, so let's copy it to the Intune folder that we've created in the previous step. Make sure the file IntuneWinAppUtil.exe is located at the same level as the input and output folders. Now, rename the downloaded file to setup.msi. Then, Copy it to the input folder that we created in the previous steps. At this moment, you can see the structure of the Intune folder. All files and folders in the input folder will be compressed into an .intunewin file format. After the conversion, the final Intune package will be saved into the output folder. Next, open PowerShell or Terminal as administrator. Navigate to the Intune folder using the cd command. Now, run the Intune WinAppUtil tool. The tool will guide you to enter the required parameters step by step. Specify the path of the input folder as the source folder. Enter the full path of the setup.msi file. And the path of the output folder for the generated.intunwin file. Press Enter to continue. The application is now doing its magic creating the .intunwin file for us. Once done, go to the output folder to verify that the .intunwin file is being created. Finally, log in to the Intune Admin Center and add a Windows app. From the drop-down menu, select Windows App, Win32 as the app type. For the app package file, select the output in tune file that you created. On the app information page, enter the required details such as the name of the app, a description, and the publisher's name. Optionally, you can upload a logo for the app by selecting an image file. This logo is displayed in the company portal, making it easier for users to recognize the app. On the program page, 
All settings are pre-configured, so you can leave them as default. On the Requirements page, configure the conditions that devices must meet before the app is installed, such as the operating system architecture, minimum OS version, and disk space. Detection rules allow you to check if the app is already installed on managed devices. You can either use a custom detection script or manually configure a detection rule. In this video, we'll use the manual MSI rule type. The MSI product code will be populated automatically. In this page, you can define software dependencies and specify apps that must be installed before the app can be deployed. Additionally, you can configure supersedence to directly update or replace an older version of the app. On the assignments page, decide how to deploy the app. For required deployments, the app will be force installed on specified groups or devices. For available deployments, the app will appear in the company portal, allowing users to install it. Use the Uninstall Deployment option to remove the app from managed devices. You can select Add All Devices to deploy the app to all managed devices, but it's recommended to test the deployment on a small group of devices before deploying it organization-wide. In this page, you can also filter devices for deployment, configure end-user notifications, and app installation deadline. Review your settings and click Create. If you see the message, your app is not ready yet, wait for the content upload to finish. After a few minutes, you'll receive confirmation that the upload is complete and the deployment is active. To verify the app deployment, log into a managed device and allow time for the system to sync. You can also manually trigger a sync from Windows Settings or the Company Portal app. As you can see, Intune is downloading and installing the app. And the app has been successfully installed automatically. In the Intune portal, you can monitor the deployment status on the overview page. This page provides a graphical breakdown, including devices with successful installations, devices still installing, and any errors encountered. Please note that the deployment status may take some time to update in the Intune Admin Center, so be patient. If the app is no longer needed, you can modify its deployment settings in Intune to uninstall it automatically. Go to the Properties section and edit the assignments. Remove the group from the required section and add it to the Uninstall section. Wait for the sync to complete and the app will automatically be removed from target devices. The second method is to deploy the app as a line of business app in Intune. This method is simpler, but offers fewer options for controlling the deployment. You only need to download the MSI installer and deploy it directly through Intune without converting it using the Intune Win32 app utility. Log in to the Intune Admin Center and add a Windows app as usual. From the drop-down menu, select the Line of Business App option. This app type supports the MSI format, which we'll use. Select the MSI installer file you previously downloaded. Once the MSI file is selected, 
The necessary fields will be populated automatically. You only need to enter the publisher name and optionally add the logo if needed. On the assignments page, choose how you want to deploy the app. You can deploy it to all users or all devices, but for testing, it is recommended to deploy it to a small group of devices first. Please note that when deploying apps using the line of business app method, there is no option to display Toast notifications on managed devices. The apps will be deployed completely silently. Wait for sync and the app should be installed automatically. To remove the app from managed devices, simply move the group from the required section to the uninstall section following the same process used for the Win32 app method. The third method is to deploy the app using the Enterprise App Catalog in Microsoft Intune. The Enterprise App Catalog is a Microsoft solution that simplifies application management with a pre-packaged catalog of apps within the Intune platform. Before you begin, note that Enterprise App Management is an Intune add-on that is part of the Intune suite. Make sure you have an Intune suite subscription before proceeding. Now, add a Windows app as usual. Once you have the required license, the Enterprise App Catalog option will be available from the drop-down menu. Click on Search the Enterprise App Catalog and search for the desired app. The Configuration tab will display the available app types including language, architecture, and version. Leave the settings on the app information page as default unless you want to make the app available through the company portal. On the next page, review the pre-filled installation parameters. Usually, there is no need to modify these, but adjustments can be made if necessary. The same applies to the requirements page, which has already been pre-configured by the vendor. The detection settings page is also pre-filled. The enterprise app catalog supports detection methods based on file size, file version, and registry values. Assign the app to the target users or device groups. Review your settings, and add the app to Intune. Wait for sync and the app should be installed automatically with Toast notifications on the managed device. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in next videos.